Hi everyone. In this video, I will talk about how to create a professional readme file using my Converse readme template. Let's start. We can delete the old code, open my Converse readme template. and copy all code from it then go back and paste everything we will start by linking license file which is in the end of we can make sure that it's already linked that's fine. Great. Now, uh, there's uh, a required sections that you must have in your readme file, which is table of content about the project, like the name and description, built with, live demo, getting started section, Authors section, future features, and contributing, show your support, acknowledgement, and license section. The, op the only optional one which frequently asked question. You can add it or delete it. Okay. This is my Coverse logo. You suppose to change it to your logo. If you don't have a logo, you can add your name. It's just simple. I have a logo here. So let's add it to the project. And I can change this to my dog. You can now write the uh, project title. You can write now add the project title. Let's call it my new blog. For the project name, I will delete that and add my new blog. And the description, we will delete that. That's it for now. Built with HTML to CSS. If you have JavaScript, add it. If you not, it's okay. We will add length of the data of so Let's make it out here. For the used tick stack here in client side we didn't use something like react or express or postgres so let's change that we will not implement server side so we can delete it 
and for now we don't have databases so let's delete it for that we can say we can create copy and paste three times and here HTML CSS and Java script. and you add uh, the corresponding uh, links to that. In new in key feature, we just added HTML file. Index. Index. Dot HTML file. CS style.css file so file and that's it for live demo you don't have live demo now so let's uh, write coming so For getting started section, which is the most important section in your readme file, because in this section you tell the user or the recruiter how to uh, clone your app, deploy it, install packages, and all of that. For now, it's very simple. Here, prerequisites. You must have a browser, web browser, we must, you must have code it from. version control system like git smc and setup you can clone this repository to your desired folder using this command this Command and you put the cloning link here like that for my new blog. You copy this code and put it here and it's okay if you have any package installed like node packages you can tell the user to run this command which is npm install not gem install Uh, 
for usage you you will tell the user to open index dot html using live server extension okay you don't have this now so you can add coming soon and you don't have a deployment so you can tell coming soon or you can delete them okay for also section if your project is a group project or collaborative bear programming project you will list all authors here which is the, uh, the team member that participate in that project if it's a, only one person working on this project you can delete that and add your name here and add github profile link like that in here copy that paste it here for twitter copy that and paste it here for LinkedIn go to your profile copy that and paste it here For future features, in future features, you can add what you will implement in the future, like add header, you can copy that and add photo sorry copy that and add more styling something like that on contributing you can leave it like that or can you can add what you want show your support if you like this project just give me a star just give it stop you can add stop something like that it will be Beautiful. 
I would think Mike of us or anyone helped you during this process. You can thank me, thank me if you want. It's up to you. This is optional section. If you want to add it, you can add it. But uh, I will delete that now. For now. For license section, we already added MIT licensing. So you, we can delete that note. That's it. Let's view it now. Now our readme file looks professional. If you see here, we missed like uh, this versus this main versus. We can delete that, delete it to make our readme file look more professional. this guiding sentences so we don't need it in the final version of our readme file so it looks more professional now like we missed this guiding sentence we can delete it And that's it. You can give this video a like, comment what you think below, or any recommendation below. Have a great day. Bye.